Hey guys, welcome to Money Farming YouTube channel. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about uh, Chat GPT and how we can use it in our to our advantage of like uh, you know to our help in building a better AI system. So what uh, what problem we face in uh, building strategies and like machine learning trading system is main is like domain knowledge right like uh, so if you if you say like ai some ai machine learning deep learning people get uh, you know scared or something like you know um they they they, they quickly see that like it requires a lot of math statistics the data analysis data engineering and all these sorts of things but uh, that's the problem that chat gpt would solve and like uh, basically with the advent of like gpt model now you all you have to do is to ask a better question and you'll get a better answer right so that's the like premise here so suppose you have some thoughts like about building and better ai system and how do you go with like starting and like going to build an ai model okay for trading so let's go and ask ask to the system okay so uh, here I had already typed like how to build a good AI system for trading and you can see like building a good AI system for trading requires several key components such as first you need to have a clear understanding of the trading problem you are trying to solve as well as the goals and objectives of your AI system. This will help you determine the appropriate algorithms and techniques to use. Next, you need to collect and clean a large data set that will be used to train your AI system. This data set should include historical data on trading prices like OHCL, OH, right, like open, high, low, close data, volumes and other relevant variables as well as any relevant external data that may impact the markets, okay. Once you have a clean data set, you can begin training your AI system. This will typically involve using machine learning algorithms to build predictive models that can identify patterns in the data and make informed trading decisions. There are many different algorithms that can be used for this purpose. So it's important to experiment and see which one works best for your specific problem. Finally, once your AI system is trained, you need to implement it in real time trading environment and monitor its performance. This will typically involve integrating it with a trading platform and setting up appropriate risk management. Appropriate risk management. Okay. Yeah, appropriate risk management and backtesting systems to ensure that your AI system is making sound trading decisions. Overall, building a good AI system for trading requires a combination of domain knowledge, technical expertise, and careful experimentation. It's a complex task, but one that can be incredibly rewarding if done well. I, 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 I you know, I really like this last statement. Like, it's a complex task, but but one can be one that can be incredibly rewarding if done well okay so <clears throat> let's just ask like what are the good um ai trading libraries python libraries available okay and let's see our what we get here so basically you you just need to like you know type your whole thought like seeing you know and then observing from itself like see here basically what we are doing is whatever questions comes in our mind we just we're just typing it and you know making sense out of it okay so it's saying that there are good many many good ai trading python libraries available including python like tensorflow keras and pytorch these libraries provide a range of tools and techniques that can be used to develop machine learning models for trading including support for supervised and unsupervised learning deep learning and reinforcement learning so guys it's telling the truth basically like the system which are like the models which are built in fake ai is basically a part of you know um 
this system right part of tensor flow okay tensor flow and uh, you, even you can develop your own machine learning algorithm using pytorch okay so if i go ahead and go with our rl model you can see here uh, you know you can see here we are using torch stable baseline 3 which is based on pytorch okay so yeah it's suggesting right algorithm right trading platform okay in, a, in addition to these general purpose machine learning libraries there are also several python libraries that are specifically designed for algorithmic trading some examples include zipline backtrader and pi algo trade these libraries provide okay we are interested in ai right freak ai so let's ask it about freak ai because it's a re uh, relatively new library freak ai as chat gpt has been trained on like uh, web text data till 2021 and uh, you know freak ai has been released in 2022 that's why it's not you know interpreting that including that answer into chat gpt so let's see and uh, ask it about freak ai what do you think about freak ai though is it a good library, good Python library for real time AI trading algorithm development? Okay, think, think. All right, see here I'm not aware of Python library called Freak AI, but it is aware of Freak Trade. Are you aware of? Trade library. Yes, I'm aware of the Freak Trade library. It is an open source Python library for developing and backtesting trading algorithm. Sounds good. So it is specifically based on crypto tra cryptocurrency trading, right? So let's just ask it for you know write a simple program or uh, yeah just simple program like you know we can ask it for linear regression or like regression problem for predicting the price like exibus and all so let's just write and write a python script for predicting btc price using exibus okay which is already implemented in Freak Trade, by the way. Uh, I'm showing it because uh, because we've already started from the basics, right? So yeah, see it's writing the program, okay? <clears throat> so we got our train data, test data, and we just pass, pass it to regressor, and it, after that, it will predict that, and predict that price and uh, return a mean squared error okay and it also like explains what are the data available in our ptc data or csv we have date price volume market cap right and target value okay so it is indicating the target target variable as the price of btc on the next day right so this is the simple model and if you go ahead and see the same with uh exibus classifier or you know what regressor right the same thing we are doing here as well okay see we are getting the data x y train features right and we are getting test features and test levels okay and what we are doing here is that we are getting the best regression model base regression model right so we can go to the base models and see the base regression models all right So now, now here's the thing where we can get creative, you know, right? So the main thing is like here it's using this much data, right? Which is very limited, right? Now we can ask it to do some feature engineering for us, okay? So how do we, uh, what feature engineering would you do for BTC price and volume? Let's see what it says.
Feature engineering is the process of transforming raw data into a form that is more suitable for modeling. In the case of BTC price and volume data, there are several potential feature engineering techniques that you could consider. One approach would be to create new features that capture the relationships between the price and volume data. For example, you could create a new feature that represents the ratio of price to volume. Yeah, that's, that's a good feature, by the way. Okay which may provide insight into the market dynamics and help your model make more accurate predictions. You could also create features that capture the rate of change in price and volume over time, which may provide additional information about the underlying trends and patterns in the data. Another approach would be to use the feature selection techniques to identify the most important features in the data. This can be useful if your data set contains a large number of features as it can help you reduce dimensionality and improve the performance of your model right so it's saying that the you know same thing we were discussing but you know the answer the main thing here is that you can get pretty good answer and may more accurate at, you can get specific as well right so here it's talking about represent the uh, new features you could create a rep features that represents the price ratio of price volume okay so now i can go ahead and say write a python script for this represents the price ratio or uh, ratio of price to volume for btc and it will write that program so that you know we have that clear that clear understanding of how we can you know uh, basically write a code and you know that uh, price to volume ratio right so this is that uh, price to volume ratio now i can uh, i can also convert it to say like um, um, uh, write a python script for uh, you know open high and close or you know high low and close of btc asset and uh, find some relationship with volume for the next for what would be the next price of btc would be okay so i'm just like giving some ideas throwing some ideas so <laughs> see it's just it just you know applied linear regression okay i just gave it a very simple example and the answer was answer for this was to apply linear regression and it's pretty like you know it's uh, it's obvious that one must apply linear regression all all these like uh, deep learning models are doing are that that very simple linear regression meaning that they are multiplying matrix to another matrix this would have some relation this would represent some feature this would represent some feature and multiply it and see how it works right and you know we train that model okay so here it it basically you know it's getting the high low of like a maximum of last seven high maximum minimum of last seven low which is good by the way you know it, it can detect swing high swing low right which is you know to be honest very important right see this see this see this so it is basically getting into the main feature of market dynamics how the market works so if you have higher high and a low higher high higher low right so it's an uptrend right if you have lower high and lower low you have downtrend so that's what it's like you know trying to uh, you know explore here the AI is trying to explore that feature, which, you know, takes a long, long time to learn a human to do so. Yeah. Right. Pretty awesome. Okay. Now here we have set the target shift minus one, meaning basically we are predict for, we are predicting for the next close price. So we are splitting the data and now we have our train data. We fit our model. We predict and that's our error right so it's very simple very basic and very important too as well so that's like and you can also see the explanation here what it says is that 
This script calculates the high low close price using 7 day rolling window and then trains a linear regression model using the volume high low data as features and the close price as the target value. It then makes predictions on the test set and evaluates the model's performance using the mean squared error metric. And it also says is that it, again, this is just a basic example and there are many, many ways that it could be extended and improved. For example, you could try using different features, algorithms or evolution metrics to see if you can improve the model's performance. You could also try using more advanced techniques such as deep learning or reinforcement learning to build your model. So guys, it's basically seeing, seeing what, what uh, you know, we have what we have already discussed here okay but again the important thing is see it also says again a lot right so again the important thing is that how you can improve it further okay so uh, you said like le uh, let's just say you said uh, we can we could improve this model as well we could improve this model you just uh wrote code for python script for could you uh, could you elaborate more on that and uh, suggest me more ways to feature engineer the prices data right so here see here now it's like going again and you know uh, explaining it in a more rigorous way right see create lagged features create derived features use feature selection so we can see like create lagged features lagged features are features that represent the values of a variable at previous point in time for example you could create lagged features for the price volume and other variables which could provide additional information about the trends and patterns in the data okay now again now we have create derived features right where we, the derived features are features that are calculated from one or more existing features right for example you could create derived features that represent the average price over a certain time period or the difference between the high and low prices or the standard deviation of the price these features can provide additional information about the data that may be useful for modeling right so, so that's it guys like we can you know extend it away further beyond our imagination basically although we will be asking questions that's the whole premise of it but uh, what i'm saying is that see we asked it one question and then the subsequent question is we are asking it to elaborate more on what it said earlier right and we can like create a holy grail of like uh, you know all these systems with just asking it question okay so let me know what you guys think and uh, if you if you guys would like me to like uh, make more videos on this because it's such a good way to learn uh, free ki and how to code uh, feature engineer basic and the ai system and uh, at the end to create a better ai system for trading so let me know what you guys think and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next video